2014 was my most memorable year because I went through a lot of huge changes for myself that really affected me in a positive way. Growing up, I think that I've been able to experience so many incredible things and I'm really grateful for the opportunities, but when you grow up with parents that are known worldwide and having so much attention from media and all of the tabloid magazines it was really tough. When I was a teenager, I was super awkward. I don't think I really felt comfortable in my body or with how I looked and people were nasty. People would say that I looked like a man or something called a butterface, which is everything good but her face. Or potato head was a, was a big term that everyone kind of used a lot. And just basically making fun of the way I looked. My mom, who is one of the most stunning women I've ever met, and everyone's comparing you and saying that you look more like your very masculine father more than your beautiful mom. For years, I thought maybe I can get plastic surgery. You know, if I change my face or if I get really skinny, then that will be it. That will be the answer. And it's not. <laughs> I feel like this dance is, is led more by emotion rather than technique, so channel that. I think this past year really changed things for me. My sister Tula was in rehab and I was really inspired because she didn't try and hide from it. She really owned it. She'd gotten in this mindset of saying, here are my flaws and it's okay. I'm still me and I'm still beautiful and it doesn't matter. And one, two. I just realized that I could feel the same way and I needed to stop listening to the bullies. Beautiful, nice. Since doing this show, I have felt such an overwhelming outpouring of love. I've never felt more beautiful than I did on Monday. It was, um, it was awesome. Slowly but surely, I saw this confident person that I used to see when we were little, butterflying in front of me. That, for me, is the best dance I've seen this season. I want to dedicate this dance to my sister and to anyone in the world that has ever felt like they are not enough. No matter what you look like, no matter where you're from, you are completely deserving of love and, and of value. Rumor and vow.